I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, is a powerful and autobiographical coming-of-age novel written by the renowned American author and poet, Maya Angelou. First published in 1969, the book is a part of Angelou's seven-volume series of autobiographical works and is often considered her most influential and celebrated piece of literature. The narrative begins with the early childhood experiences of Marguerite Johnson, the young Maya Angelou, growing up in the racially segregated rural town of Stamps, Arkansas, during the 1930s. At the tender age of three, she and her older brother, Bailey Jr., are sent to live with their paternal grandmother, Annie Henderson, whom they affectionately call, Mama. Raised in the nurturing environment of Mama's general store and surrounded by the protective community of Stamps, Maya's early life is relatively shielded from the harsh realities of racism. However, as Maya and Bailey Jr. grow older, they become more aware of the racial prejudice and discrimination that permeate the society around them. The children witness the racial divide when their father, Bailey Sr., comes to visit with his white girlfriend, Dolores. Despite Bailey Sr.'s attempt to treat her with respect, the visit ends in a painful confrontation with local white racists. After enduring a traumatic sexual assault by her mother's boyfriend, Mr. Freeman, the young Maya withdraws into a self-imposed silence for several years, believing that her voice and words carry an inherent danger. This profound silence becomes symbolic of the oppression and silencing of African Americans during this period in history. Maya's sense of identity is further challenged when her mother, Vivian, decides to reclaim her children and take them to live with her in St. Louis, Missouri. The transition to life in the urban north proves to be an adjustment, and Maya struggles with feelings of inadequacy and a sense of displacement. In this unfamiliar environment, Maya finds solace in literature, particularly the works of William Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, and other classic writers, which serve as her refuge from the harsh realities of the world. Despite the challenges she faces, Maya gradually finds her voice and sense of self-worth. She excels academically and becomes the first black streetcar conductor in San Francisco, breaking barriers in a segregated industry. Through her experiences, she gains a deeper understanding of the racism and prejudice that exist in society, both overtly and covertly. Throughout the book, Angelo explores themes of race, identity, resilience, and the transformative power of literature and words. The title, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, is derived from a poem by the African-American poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar, which draws a powerful analogy between a caged bird's song and the expression of hope and longing in the face of oppression. The novel also delves into the importance of familial bonds, friendship, and the support of a loving community. Maya's relationship with her brother Bailey Jr., her beloved, Mama, and her close friend Louise, Tootsie, helps sustain her through difficult times and shapes her perception of family and love. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings is a searingly honest and emotionally charged account of Maya Angelou's early life, capturing the essence of the struggles and triumphs of African Americans during the Jim Crow era. Angelou's lyrical prose and candid exploration of racial injustice make the novel a timeless and essential contribution to American literature. Her ability to articulate the human experience, resilience, and the capacity to rise above adversity makes this memoir an inspiring and captivating read for generations to come. The book remains a poignant reminder of the importance of breaking free from societal constraints and finding the strength to let one's voice soar, just like a caged bird singing with unbridled hope and freedom. Thanks for watching.